Hey, what's up, soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and welcome back to another Call of Duty Zombies Top 5. What I get for you guys today is going to be the Top 5 Treyarch Easter Egg Songs in Call of Duty Zombies history. Now, the, we're going to be excluding external artists. These are songs worked on by Kevin Sherwood, so we're going to be excluding Avenged Sevenfold, Johnny Cash, Eminem, Motorhead, basically all of the outside music from, like, actual artists and bands. So, hope you guys understand. Now, I think that you guys will pretty much agree with most of this list now this was a consensus because the other day i streamed all the easter egg songs besides the ones of from the artists that i already mentioned in a live stream and you guys really seemed to like it and the entire time you guys were commenting on a scale of one to ten what you thought of the songs when i asked you so what i did was i took the results from that and i also ended up getting all the results on twitter as well when i asked the question and i basically ranked them accordingly so if you guys disagree with the list, it's not 100% my opinion, but for the most part, I really like how the list turned out. So hope you guys do enjoy. And uh, if you do enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. And also, last but not least, I'm doing a Black Ops 4 giveaway. If you guys want to check it out, it's going to be linked down below. You can enter to win the Black Ops 4 Digital Deluxe Edition. That includes the Black Ops Pass. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Coming in at the number 5 spot is going to be the gift from Revelations. Now, I'm just going to play 20 second excerpts at the end of explaining each clip where the items are that you have to collect. So, for the gift, you have to collect three teddy bears. The first one is going to be located underneath the excavation site, sitting on a stool. The second one is going to be on a wheelchair that is inside the top floor of Varrocht. And last but not least, the final and third bear, you can get these in any order, is going to be sitting on a front row seat at Kino. So this Easter egg song is definitely really cool. And here is a short excerpt from the song. Coming in at the number four spot is going to be Beauty of Annihilation from Classic Doris. Now, this Easter egg song is really cool. Now, you have to press square or the action button on three different spines that are contained within a container. And there's some weird liquid in there that's green. Now, two of the spines are located in the animal testing facility. And the last and final one is going to be located right next to Teleporter B. There's like a small side room and it's right above the top. Thompson wall by and it's right inside of that room so you press square and you can play the song now the really cool thing or interesting thing about this song is we actually got a remixed version for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 which you can now play on the giant which I personally don't think is as good as the original but uh, that's for you to decide let me know what you guys think of the remix down in the comment section below but anyways here is a small excerpt from Beauty of Annihilation Coming in at the number three spot is going to be Where Are We Going from Mob of the Dead. Now, this is by far one of my favorite Easter egg songs, and you guys already know why. Now, I've been using this song at the outros of a lot of my videos recently, if you guys have noticed that. I've been using it for about a week. Um, it, it's just a really, really cool song. Now, we got to hear a small excerpt of a remix that they're apparently doing for Black Ops 4 for Blood of the Dead. Now, some people that were talking to Jason got a chance to hear it. I personally did not get a chance to hear it because I was not in the round table at that point. There was two different ones. I was at the first one. They played the song at the second one, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks. But overall, it is definitely awesome to see that we're going to be getting a remix of Where Are We Going? Because it is one of my favorite songs. 
So how you activate this is simply all you have to do is enter 935 on the number counter, which is at the bottom of the spiral staircase. Now you do need to enter the numbers to get the uh, coils first. And once you grab the coils, the countdown will stop and then you can enter it. And also you have to do it before you enter the cell numbers at the end of the Easter egg. Otherwise it will not work. So that's how you activate where are we going on Mob of the Dead. Coming in at the number two spot is going to be always running from Buried. Now, this Easter egg song is also very, very cool and has a similar style to Where Are We Going. It's really like low tempo and then it builds up and gets really, really intense. For this one, you have to collect three teddy bears. The first teddy bear is as soon as you slide down directly across from where Quick Revive is. The second one is going to be in a barrel in the candy shop. And the third and final one is going to be as soon as you go in the witch's house, in the room with double tap, you turn to the left and it's going to be directly ahead in the corner. So once you press all three of those, you can get the song. This is definitely another amazing song. So it deserves to be on the list and it comes in at the number two spot. All right, guys, for this video, we have three audible mentions. The first one is going to be Paradolia. Now, this is an Easter egg song from Shangri-La. And what you have to do is collect three moon rocks. The first one is going to be located in spawn. There's one right after the mud room on the other side of the map. There's also one that is located right next to one of the perk machines. If the box spawns on the left hand side, if you're facing quick revive, then there is going to be a door to the left of that kind of near the geyser where you shoot up and there's a small door you open and then to the left of that is where the final rock is going to be kind of hard to explain but you guys hopefully get what i'm saying The next one is Archangel. Now this is from Origins and there are three locations of a green rock that you need to go. The first one is going to be in spawn and this one's really, really easy to point out. The next one is going to be located in the workshop on the second floor. And it, basically if you're going out the door to the like main excavation site area or like the trenches, I guess you take a left inside of the workshop and there's a like stone with green all around it on the bottom of like on the floor so you can't really miss it and the last and final one is actually going to be on the excavation site right where you drop down where the fire piece like falls when you shoot the fire plane out of the sky so those are all three of the locations for that And finally, last but not least, is going to be The One. Now, this is a song from Shino Numa, which I was actually really surprised how many people actually like this song. Uh, but this song is really, really easy to activate. You just go to the comm room, which is the door that's literally right to the left-hand side before you go to the box where the box originally spawns. Once you go downstairs, you just go to the comm room on the right-hand side and then take a left and you'll see a phone on a desk. All you have to do is press the phone three three times and it's one of those like rolling um, telephones so basically you like turn it as many numbers as you need it goes back and you basically have to do it three times by pressing the action button and then it will start to play the song after you get a small ringtone so pretty cool
And finally, coming in at the number one spot is going to be 115 from Kinoda Toen. Now, there's really no surprise that this one was going to be number one, considering everyone in my live stream rating this song rated it a 115 out of 10, which was completely kind of ironic in a sense. But at the same time, this song is so classic. It's probably the most played Easter egg song. Pretty much everyone knows how to play it. So I'm actually not really surprised at all whatsoever. Now, this song, all you have to do is activate three different moon rocks. One of them is in the room located like to the right hand side of the power. You open up that door. Normally don't do that in a game, but sometimes people open it and it's up there like on a shelf. The next location can be in the like uh, changing rooms area. And the last and final one is going to be in the spawn next to the back window. So you just press all three of those and you get a cool activation noise. And then it's going to play the song. So here is a 20 second excerpt from Kino de Toten's 115. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you did enjoy. I love making these videos. They're a ton of fun, and I really enjoy like doing the cool, intricate Easter eggs that are in zombies. So if you guys enjoyed the stream and you're a streamer, maybe you should try it out yourself. It's definitely a pretty fun challenge, and I definitely had a lot of fun streaming it and also recording each of these songs. So thanks for watching, guys. My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.